this is my beautiful office for today. I often like to come out into a nice environment to sit on my laptop and do some work. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a few hair analysis consultations for people and also I've got some uh, web design to do and I suppose if anyone is interested in any web design or graphic design at least you know that you know the work's coming from a conscious place so yeah get in touch Hi guys, so as mentioned I'm working out in nature today and probably a lot of people are thinking you know how do I do it so I suppose I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the kind of stuff that I need to come out into nature and, and do my work. So basically one of the things that I bring out with me is an external battery pack because my phone tends to run out of battery pretty quick actually a lot quicker than it should do. It's an iPhone, it's terrible, terrible battery. Um, so I bring out my battery pack that allows me to have my phone on pretty much all day. Uh, the reason why I need my phone on is because I use my mobile phone as a internet connection. Um, because the, I use 4G um on ee mobile and what i do is i use the personal hotspot and link up the uh phone to my laptop um and i'm on quite a good package i get around 40 gigabytes per month of data and what i do is on the windows on the windows 10 machines i'm not sure about the later ones there's an actual there's a setting on there in the wireless to meter the internet and basically what that means is it is it um, only uses the internet that it needs because obviously if you're using internet on a mobile phone um, it's you don't want to be kind of downloading all the background things that computers usually do and using up all the internet because you've only got a limited amount so if you click the metered um, button in the Wi-Fi settings for the connection that you that you um, for the personal hotspot then it reduces the amount of data that you use which allows me to stay out quite a while also I have this um, little uh, 4G router that I take around with me um, you know that I kind of can use that gives me another 30 gigabytes of data if I needed if I need it if I run out uh, that's also from EE. Um, I understand that it's not good really to be around EMF devices, but it's kind of like, you know, um, something that I kind of put up with in order for in order to allow me to be in this environment doing my work. Um, you know, if it's, it is difficult because the information that I do um, and you know the reason why I'm so flexible with my work is because I can do a lot of it from my laptop so it does have its benefits technology um, but also on the downside you know um, there's a little bit of EMF involved which I don't really like but it's just something I put up with in order to be in this beautiful environment luckily for me obviously doing the nutrition balancing program I don't feel it as much I would assume that being out in, in, in this environment um, I often bring my EMF meter with me and there's literally no EMF here whatsoever um, so if I'm just using my phone internet, my 4G internet, the volts per uh, cubic meter would be a much much lower than what it would be in an office. Even if I was stuck, even if I was using Ethernet, um, because all of the buildings around me would also be using Wi-Fi as well, and everyone else's mobile phones. So it's kind of lesser of two evils. Um, I obviously have my laptop here. So this is my laptop. Um, you know I tried to choose a laptop that had good battery life on it so I can come out um, I also have a little tripod here um, and obviously I, I do a lot I do a lot of videos from my mobile uh, just to try and keep things as light as possible you know you don't want to be carrying around big camera kits and tripods and stuff uh, when you're traveling around you want to keep things light 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, the benefits are I get to hang out here and chat to the people walking past. Um, it's really nice. Uh, the winter's coming up soon, so that's going to be interesting. I've been thinking about a few things that I'm going to do. Um, you can buy pop-up tents, uh, which I think I will invest in one of them. Um, but the challenges in the winter is the coldness. So I'm going to have a ponder over that aspect of things. Um, maybe I will think about some portable heat source from, um, you know, maybe a portable fire pit or something like that. But we'll see how that goes. So yeah, anyone that does have the opportunity to be able to work from wherever you want, I do definitely recommend trying to do something like this. Um, I generally find that if I'm in this environment doing my work, I can actually do my work for much longer. I don't get bored. Um, you know, I can speak to clients on here. You know, you can chat to people on the phone. Uh, you can do this with friends. Um, I'm, I'm not with friends at the moment, but I'm going to plan on doing it more with friends and get them into doing the similar thing. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I hope that you guys can think about doing something like this as well. It's certainly beneficial. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So speak soon. I should also mention that I'll probably buy a battery pack for my laptop as well so I can stay out for even longer. Um, I bring out my rucksack which has got a lot of little bits and bobs in there. Um, I have my selfie stick which is just such a simple device but you can really do some you know you can walk around and and pick um plants and whatnot um i get into the habit of um taking pictures of all the wild flowers out here the ones that i'm not aware of um and i basically just post the images onto a facebook identification group and within five minutes the plant's been identified for me I do the same thing with mushrooms. Um, you can hear the birds over there fighting, I think. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with plants, so, uh, with animals soon. Um, but yeah, I suppose it's one step at a time when you're really wanting to integrate yourself with nature. Another thing that I do is I keep my feet, um, you know, I don't keep any shoes on my feet when I'm doing this, so I'm connected and get the good ions from the earth and the grounding aspect of being out here in nature. So yeah, that's it. Keep in touch. Um, if you do anything like this, it'd be nice to see some pictures or something. Sign up to our Facebook group, uh, you know, forward slash deep healing space. Please subscribe. Um, anyone that's wanting more, more videos from me and Luke, sign up to our members area on the website. Uh, we've got all sorts of stuff in there ranging from recipes to extra videos on certain health conditions in the full video course on the nutritional balancing program. So I hope that's inspired a few people and I'll speak to you soon. So these here are rose hips and they're part of the, um, the rose family and you can see them on here. Uh, these ones aren't to ripen um, but these are wild edibles in the UK um, you can kind of they've got a very distinctive look and taste to them um, and interestingly enough like something that I've realized um, through observations of people foraging is that the majority of the population have basically a very sweet tooth and we're so accustomed to eating sweet things that we don't realize or don't like the bitterness and the sourness of the natural world and these are really important aspects of um, of health is the bitterness and the sourness of of other types of plants and one thing I did notice when I first started the Nutritional Balancing Program is that basically um, I didn't like the food at all. It was just far too bland and not sweet enough. And after a while my taste buds changed and things like Brussels sprouts to me now actually taste quite sweet. 
and it's interesting to see me out in nature when I nibble on some of the wild foods out here. Um, they actually taste really nice to me and I can quite happily enjoy the bitterness and the sourness of some of the plants. Whereas some of my friends or people who I'm foraging with will just give a really horrible look as if they really hate the food. Um, so these rose hips here, there's quite a lot of seeds inside there. Um, to the average person, it would probably be quite bitter, but I actually really like them. And I think that's a, that's a testament really to everyday bodies today. They're just so used to the sweetness of food. It's interesting when you type in rose hip on Google, you'll find articles of people saying, you know, you don't really want to eat the, the uh, fruits because they're quite bitter. However, they're great in jams and spreads and basically sugary foods where you take the natural fruit and basically artificially add massive amounts of refined sugar to it to make it taste sweeter. <laughs> so that's just an interesting observation. Um, but yeah, if you find come across rose hip, try it out. People who've been on a nutritional balancing program for longer will probably be able to eat them much easier than other people. So that's that. Speak soon.